let's get this thing started. So we want to install an anchor system so I can haul like dirt bikes or motorcycles in the back of this, uh, this whole truck. And um, so the way we'll do it is it's a wood bed. Um, it looks old, but it's actually pretty new. Uh, we just distressed it like this. Um, but here's the way we're, we're thinking of going about it. Uh, here's some anchor bolts. And the way the anchors work is there's actually a clip that just holds down this ring. And that's what we'll hook our tie downs to. And we're gonna hold this clip down with these lag bolts. Now you can get these at any hardware store. Um, get the stainless if you can so they don't uh, rust on you. Um, but that's all that is. And to know the right size, the smartest thing to do would be to take this with you. That's what I did. I took it down to the hardware store. And uh, so I could just measure and get what I could to be the, like the closest with the least amount of play in the hole. You can see there's very little play, you know, wobbling back and forth. Anyways, um, the thing we're going to have to do when we install this is, so we'll measure off the four spots we want but we should pre-drill our holes. And the simple way to do it is just go through your bit drawer. I have uh, drill bits just laying around everywhere. And what I did was I was uh, holding them up to see the one that was just a skosh underneath the size of the lag bolt itself, and that's what we'll use. So we'll pre-drill with that. Uh, the way we'll go ahead and uh, screw these suckers down, the best way is that, right? So we'll use that with a ratchet. And if you're lucky enough, I am I'm telling you, man, this is like the coolest tool on the planet. This is the uh, Milwaukee the thing where it's awesome for all your gear wrenching stuff. So uh, I bought this on, I think, Amazon or eBay. Um, I'll put it in a link if I remember. And so we'll use that and uh, we'll just go ahead and wind those suckers in. And that's it. All right, so we're pretty lucky. We've got a nice space uh, between our metal and the bed. Um, so we're not going to have any issues hitting things like our compressors, if you have those, fuel tanks, uh, anything else you might have underneath here. So uh, good luck for us. Okay, so the way we orientate this tie down actually matters. So we have the back of the bed, right? So if you picture the bike, the bike is going to sit something like this straight up. And it's going to be pulling from a, a tie down this way into our lockdown. And so what I don't want to do is actually have the lockdown this way thinking um, it's not as strong because it would actually, it could tear one bolt and then I'd lose and compromise the system. So what I'm going to do is actually orientate them like this. So that I have both lags, full potential strength uh, holding up the uh, bikes. So now the next step is let's go underneath and make sure we're not going to compromise anything. start to hear that sound, back off and you're done. They start going across. So that one started going in a little crooked for me. Stop. Re recheck. Perfect. Now we got our four tie downs in each corner, and now it's time to test.
Hey, Gene. Like what safe to lift? Let me test oh, it. Oh, right here. Down there? Yep. It might just be a little tiny bit. Okay. So if you want to close. Look. So when they talk about using everything like your stored energy, yeah. just know I just did that for you. So I hope you liked the video. Um, the straps and the lockdowns, they worked absolutely perfect. Um, ass kicker, like you wouldn't believe um, getting that bike on the back of that truck because the uh, kickstand was just sort of grabbing there. So um, I'll put a link to some of the things I use. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody else. And if um, you guys have any questions or other things I can help with or um, even want to share some tips, certainly put them down in the comments. That's what this whole thing's about. Bye.